What's up guys, it's your pal Ben here with Twig Cycles out of Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, and today we're gonna be checking out a 2023 Honda Pioneer 700 Deluxe model. Um, this is a model year 23. Honda has slowly started pushing out their 23s already. Uh, and I just wanted to do a quick model update. Uh, they did make some subtle changes, but uh, very necessary changes to the 23s, which I think are definitely noteworthy and I wanna highlight in this video. I've done a Pioneer 700 here in the past, but again, that was on a previous model year. This is a 23, so I just wanna highlight some of the updates. So ignore my Polaris shirt uh, for the time being. It's a little chilly out here. Fall is definitely settling in, so just ignore this for now. Uh, today, we're gonna be highlighting this beautiful Honda Pioneer 700 Deluxe. All right, guys, so some of you are already familiar with the Honda Pioneers. Uh, they have had the Pioneer 700 out for quite some time. This thing has been a couple years in the making, so this is a very reliable machine. It is what I would consider to be a mid-size side-by-side uh, in the realm, you know, kind of setting the 700cc right in between Honda Pioneer 500 and 520. They are slowly doing away with the uh, the Pioneer 500 and solely uh, sticking with the 520, which puts the 700 right in between the 520 and their Pioneer 1000. As you guys know, this is a 700cc or otherwise a 675cc single cylinder fuel injected liquid cooled motor to be exact. So it's a 675cc single cylinder engine in this thing. Very quiet, very reliable, very smooth. A um, couple things I want to highlight here. Uh, number one, I'm going to start with the transmission in this thing. Now, in previous model year Pioneer 700s, it always seemed like the three-speed transmission in these things seemed to tack way high RPMs before it finally shifted into gear. Uh, as you'll see in this little clip here I'm gonna show, this seems to really kind of hover right around that 4,500 to 5,000 RPM range, uh, which is right at that shift point. Now, this is only a three-speed transmission, so it's only going from first, second to third, third, second, first. So it's really only, you only have about two shift points right there but it definitely seems like they have kind of leveled things out. Uh, and it also seems like when you put it in manual mode, the shifting is a lot smoother as well. You don't seem to get a lot of that like lurching or, or bucking or anything out of the transmission. It doesn't seem to throw you forward into the dash or anything like that. Um, it just seems like they really kind of finally smoothed out that transmission in these things, which is phenomenal. Now I'm gonna talk you through how this thing shifts. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in automatic mode. All right, so three-speed transmission. I'm in automatic mode. You can see up there in bold, we have AT. So I'm gonna hit the gas. So we're in first gear. There's second gear, right at 4,500 RPM. And there's third gear. So it seems to shift right at 4,500 RPM, almost 5,000. One other really cool thing that they added to this, 12-volt accessory outlet right back here, 12 volt accessory outlet right back here. And why did they do that? Well, there's actually a lot of people that use this for as like a salt spreader. Uh, so if you're spreading salt to kind of, you know, get all the, the ice and, and frozen stuff and snow off your driveway, you can put a salt spreader back here. You can also use this as a sprayer. So rather than have to running, having to run a wire the whole way from the cab to the back end of the machine, that 12 volt accessory outlet is right there. So that's gonna be very helpful. And one other very important thing here, they finally added an adjustable steering wheel in these things, which is phenomenal. They added this in the base model, they added this in the Deluxe, and they also have a Pioneer 700 Forest Edition. All of the Pioneer 700s finally come with adjustable steering. So this is basically what it looks like in the lower position. And I'm gonna click the switch here, and that is all the way up. So that's gonna help kind of get that steering wheel away from your knees if you're a taller rider. Um, obviously, they'll be a little bit more comfortable, give you a little bit more space, that kind of thing. But if you are shorter, um, you can obviously put the steering wheel in the lower position. As far as everything else up on the dash here, a lot of this has remained the same. Obviously, you have your e-brake over here, you have your headlights right here. I'm gonna scooch over here, uh, give you a quick zoom in on the glove box. Nothing crazy here. So glove box, got some instruction manuals in there as well. They did add some storage up here. Um, they give you a little net here to kind of keep your things in place. Down here, obviously you have your switch. Uh, well, you have your key right there. You have your switch from automatic transmission to manual transmission, which means if you put an AT, the machine is gonna shift through all three gears on its own. If you put it in MT, you're gonna shift through the gears with your paddle shifters right there. Down here on the column, we have reverse, neutral, and drive. There is not a park position. There's not a high or low on these things. Again, this is just kind of a mild mid-sized machine. There's no high or low range, uh, but they do give you two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and differential lock. 
as we turn on the key here, I want to show you this nice new display that they've given you. The display does adjust with the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. So the display is going to move along with the steering wheel, wherever you have it there. Um, up here, obviously, you can see we have some indicator lights, which are on just because we're sitting still. The engine is not running. That's okay. Um, obviously, if the engine's running and any of those lights are on, there is a concern or issue with when uh, within the machine. But up here, you have a gear indicator. You have your speedometer. You have a fuel gauge right there. And, of course, your tachometer. And as I had mentioned, this seem, seems to kind of shift right around that 4,500 to 5,000 RPM range, uh, shifting three, uh, from first, second, and third. I'll go ahead and fire this thing up here for you. That way you can hear what it sounds like inside the cab and outside. So we're sitting inside the cab. This is probably a really good example because I also have a front windshield and a rear panel on the back of this. So it's almost fully enclosed. Uh, not a whole lot of engine noise. I'm gonna scoot outside here and let you guys hear what everything sounds like from the back. Again, very quiet, not an overly loud machine. This is not a sport side-by-side -side by any, any, any means or anything like that. So obviously, I know we get a lot of people that use these for you know hunting and stuff like that and just going through trails. So some of your trails don't allow you to take a machine that's overly loud. So again, this is gonna be nice and quiet. Now, as far as specs, again, this is a 675, otherwise known as the 700cc single cylinder fuel injected liquid cooled motor. Um, this has a 1,000 pound bed capacity, so you can load this thing down with a 1,000 pounds worth of cargo or mulch or stone or rock or whatever have you. Um, again, you do have the dump bed, which is also very important. And then this has a 1,500 pound towing capacity. So 1,500 pound towing capacity, which is going to be handy because you have this nice full size receiver hitch down here as well. As far as overall machine width, this is a 59.7 inch wide machine, 59.7 inches, and you have about 10.7 inches worth of ground clearance, which I'm going to go to the rear end here and show you, probably get a little bit better view of that. 10.7 inches worth of ground clearance, and again, this is a 59.7 inch wide machine. So that is pretty much going to wrap up our summary of the 2023 Honda Pioneer 700. Again, I just wanted to really highlight, uh, number one, the shifting, uh, the three-speed transmission in these uh, seems to has, have really leveled out. It's a lot smoother uh, in the automatic mode, shifting right around that 4,500 to 5,000 RPM range. Uh, and the other thing, too, is when you put it in manual mode, it definitely seems to shift a lot smoother. Um, it doesn't seem to lurch or buck on you or anything like that. The second thing that I really wanted to highlight was, of course, the adjustable steering wheel, um, Obviously, the base model does not come with power steering. The Deluxe and the Forest Edition do come with power steering, but uh, these all three models, so the base, the Deluxe, the Forest Edition, all come with adjustable steering wheel. We got a lot of complaints in the past about there's really no adjustment inside the cab. It's a fixed seat, uh, fixed seating position. It used to be a fixed steering wheel. There was no adjustment there. Um, but they added the adjustable steering wheel, which is a huge plus for different size riders, uh, just for overall comfort. And that pretty much wraps us up, guys. If you have any questions, just give me a call at 301-739-2773 or leave your questions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.